Hey guys and welcome to Architects 3D Printing. We are back to make a quick improvement to the design that we did last week. As you can see the design is working perfectly, but there is only one thing that I don't like so much and it is the mess of cables that goes out of our charging station to the power socket. In this video we are going to make a quick design to make some 3D printed cable clips that will help us keeping this mess of cables organized. To start we are going to go to Windows and open our design in Rhino. Now we will change to the shaded view and we are going to explode the base, so we can extract the surface where the holes for the cables appear and we will bring it to the origin. We will use it as a template to know the exact location of the cables for our clips. Now we draw a circle using the center and the radius of one of the holes for the cables and later we will copy it three more times. Remember that you can custom it and make it for as many cables as you want. After that we can delete the surface that we use as a template and we will offset the circles 1.2mm as we are using an 0.4mm nozzle. It will have 3 perimeters, that is more than enough. Now we will copy these circles to the gaps in between and we will trim the bottom part of them. Using the 4 original circles to cut the others and we will clean the drawing. After that we should have something like this. Now we are going to rotate the first circle around 20 degrees and draw an horizontal line from the top quadrant. Then we will mirror the circle and trim the bottom part. Finally we will make the holes from where we will introduce the cables. For that we will draw a vertical line in the center of the circle and offset it 1.2 mm to each side, so the gap will be 2.4. Then we will trim everything and copy the walls of the gap and finally we will trim all the unnecessary lines and we will clean the drawing. Once it's clean, we will select all the lines and we will use the common join to make it a unique object. I will make a copy to keep the original in case we want to make some changes later and I'm going to extrude the copy 2mm high. If we change the view to render, here we have our final design. Now we only have to select the object and go to File, Export Selected and we will choose STL. We will leave a tolerance of 0.1mm, that is more than enough, and export it as a binary file. Now we can open Ultimaker CUDA and we can drag and drop the STL file that we just exported. We are going to adjust some settings and export it as a G-code. If you want, you can copy the settings that I'm using in CUDA. So if you have followed the whole process and you have created your custom clips, the printing should work perfectly. If not, I will let the links down in the description so that you can download both the SDL and G-code files that are generated in this video. After that, we will put the file in the SD card and we will start the print as we saw in the last videos. After a couple minutes, it came out perfectly. We are going to need a lot more clips, so I will quickly modify the CUDA file to make 6 clips in a single print. For that we will right click on the object and click multiply. In our case we will multiply it 5 times, so 6 clips in total. Now we will print this new file. As you can see, I finally printed a lot of clips and now we are gonna proceed with the installation. Now you can compare the look of the device after installing the clips. Cool, right? Alright, so that's all for this quick video. Remember to click the like button if you liked it and subscribe to the YouTube channel and our social media to be notified every time a new video is uploaded.